Zion Khan and I'm going to show you how to get macOS Ventura on an unsupported Mac. What basically happened was that one of my cousins found this old MacBook they had and they were going to give it to like their five year old kid but they wanted um but they wanted it to run macOS Ventura right so then that way if their computer stopped working it would be way easier to work or whatever I didn't really listen to that part so I tried it but I failed with the boot picker menu it just for some reason wasn't showing up a little option so what I ended up doing was that I tried it on my MacBook Pro and it soft locked it whenever you try to go to the boot picker menu it would show you a lock you try to enter the password and it wouldn't do anything even if it was right it wouldn't show any animations you would try to reboot it it would show like a circle with a line in the middle right and I contacted Apple support we needed the bootable but at that point my cousins were already away and they were like 16 hours away and we really don't visit them because they're 16 hours away right so yeah, um, and they had just visited because they had just recently come to America, right? So because of that, I really didn't have any of their MacBooks. So my dad brought it here, with here on my vacation, and he got it fixed. And uh, um, I managed to install Ventura on it. Now, warning you, do need to install Monterey. First of all, I installed this file. Right, because I thought it was the it was less gigabytes, right? So then basically while it was installing, it's an install assistant. Just search up, um, Miss right. Just search up Mr. Macintosh. No, just search up Mac OS Mon reinstall assistant, and then when it gives you the first list of uh, files, just choose the second one, right? Give it a minute. And you might be wondering, oh, then how are you back? Well, basically, they just visited because, you know, they're going to, um, they're going to, how do I say this? They're going to another city, like business stuff, right? So then they just visited us real quick and stuff. So, yeah, um, and, um, and I'm just currently recording this on that. But, yeah, um, sorry, guys, ignore that. I, I really can't stop that. So, yeah. Once you install this one, um, it's gonna download in Safari and then open it up and it should let you install Monra even if it's unsupported. Now if it doesn't, then that means that you need to figure out a way to downgrade to the Mac OS before Catalina and then search up and then once you are fully downgraded, search up Mac OS Catalina Hatcher. Okay, give it a minute, and then just click the, the one from those DOS Dude 1, and go through all the steps, and then try it again. So once it's, and also if you want proof, here you go. Mm -mm -mm, right? And yeah, so once it's that, once Monterey is installed, what you need to do is that you can either go to beta profiles.dev, or you can just search up iOS beta profile and you'll know you'll be at the right one because you're at this one. Now I did forget to mention make sure you have a time machine backup. Right? So yeah, I'm just okay, so sorry about that, it's lagging. For some reason Mac OS Ventura it won't let me scroll down using the trackpad, even though my trackpad worked fine when I upgraded a monitor. So yeah, and it just made it really laggy too, right? Like when it was running Monterey, it was fine because I guess it's an official release, but it's currently running a developer beta, right? So basically you'll see this go up a little until you see the one for macOS Ventura beta 5 or beta whatever, right? And then what you will need to do is that you will need to, give me a minute. Alright, give me a minute. And also, when it reboots and it gives you an option for discs, do not touch anything. 
right? It has like discs, your operating system, and then one called install it. Don't touch anything, and you should be fine. So then just go to betaprofiles.dev and then click um the one for Mac OS and then click install profile and make sure you have a um time machine backup. And then what will happen is that it'll appear in settings and once it's appeared it'll let you download it and if it doesn't appear then what I would recommend doing is that either is to try and install the macOS Ventura install assistant and do it that way or you're gonna have to um, do it the other way the one that does require a um, boot pick a menu right so then so then that should appear in software update or you will have to use the install assistant and then while it's rebooting it it'll give you options for discs don't touch anything and let it do its thing and then boom you have mac os ventura on an unsupported mac right so yes um and yes i currently am on how do i say this well basically how do i say this i forgot to mention something they really don't need the computer anymore basically um it's just not worth their while it's too buggy and stuff so they're just letting their kids use their macbook right and because i didn't want to bring my macbook because uh wait no 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 sorry because i sorry sorry it's getting a little confusing because i didn't know if my dad was gonna fix it he didn't tell me he just brought it with him so i just brought this one just in case right so yeah boom there you go you have mac os ventura on an unsupported macbook pro thank you guys for watching and uh, um yeah that's how you get mac os ventura on an unsupported mac without going into the boot picker menu and or going into recovery mode if you guys did find this useful make sure to like subscribe share comment do all that stuff and um yeah now sorry it's laggy i would want to um you know like do it on my macbook other macbook pro but um i just wanted proof right that this way would work and the only way I could do that was to screen record it using this one because it was obviously running Ventura on an unsupported Mac. So, um, yeah, I just, um, I can't believe I actually managed to find this out. It is really surprising. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and um, comment if that worked. And again, if it de if you couldn't install Monterey, then what you would need to do is that you would need to figure out a way to downgrade to the macOS before Catalina, and then use the macOS Catalina patch made by DOS DOS Dude One to upgrade to Catalina, and then you would either need to get a beta profile or a Big Sur, and then um or use the Mac App Store. And I will use the install assistant to get Big Sur, and then use the install assistant to get Monterey, and then get the and then use beta profiles.dev or the install assistant to get Ventura. So hopefully you guys you hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and comment if it worked. Oh sorry about that. I tried to close it because this thing is just really laggy. Yeah, that that's an outtake. Hopefully I can edit that out, but if I can't, uh, yeah, uh, then you'll get to see it. Bye.